hi friends welcome back to ai tech english so in this video we are going to see how to create and add buttons into our kiwi app so without wasting any more time let's get started so first we are going to open our code editor i'm using visual studio code you can use any of your choice here i'm creating a new file named um let it be button.py So first you have install the kiwi package in your system so if you have not installed please type this command and get it installed so mine is already installed if you want to install you can install it now i'm going to import the kiwi module import kiwi So now I'm going to import the app class from kiwi dot app module. For that, from kiwi dot app import app. So we are going to use this app class in our in our app. So this will be very useful in constructing an app. So for now we are using app. So next we are going to import the button. So from from kiwi dot uix dot button import button. So this is a class we are going to use this class for adding buttons. So now we are going to start our coding. So for kiwi dot require. So here we are going to give a version to for which our app should work. So this is um, not required, but you can use it for building um, real-time apps. So class, we are going to construct a class. In this class, we are inheriting the app class which we imported earlier. So here we are going to make a function. So we are going to define a function def build this function is our um this function is the main function which we are using to run our app so here we are going to run our all the widgets i mean the screen everything will be run here so we are going to return the screen from this method only here the self is the parameter it consists of self parameter here we need to import one more thing called screen so this is basically a screen in that screen we are going to put all our widgets so screen is must you can use uh, also layouts which are inbuilt available in kiwi so for that i am importing the screen from the kiwi.uax.screen manager module so here i am assigning the screen class to the self.window so basically it's an object So now let's return this self dot window. So let's see how it looks, how our window looks. Self dot window. We are going to return the self dot window. Now we should run our app. For that, I'm going to type button app. So which is the name of our class. Then dot run method. So this will run our app. So let's run this and see how it looks. For that, go to the terminal and type your file name Python, and after that, you have to type your file name .py. You can see our screen is here, and it's look pretty good. So now we are ready to do our job. The main thing which we are going to uh, do here is we are going to add. So you can run by using the triangle shape button here also in the right. Uh, top corner top right corner self dot button i'm declaring a variable self dot button is equal to button which we imported earlier button class so in this class we are having two attributes called we have many attributes but the main attribute we use is text this text is uh, that we want to display in our button so here i'm going to write press me so let's add this uh, button into our ma main screen so for that self dot window which is the screen of our app 
dot add widget it's a method inside it we are going to add self dot button so this will add our button into our screen so let's see how it looks after saying this run and see so you can see our button is here but it occupies the whole uh, screen isn't it so for that we are going to write a simple code and it's very very pretty easy so come on let's write the code for that in the pa in the parameters we should pass another attribute which is called size hint so i'm setting the size hint size underscore hint is equal to a tuple so it consists of x and y values so x value is 0.5 and y value is 0.5 for now i'm giving this two values let's save and see how it looks you can see that uh, it is horizontally and vertically size has been reduced to 0.5 now we are going to position it to the center for that we should uh, give an attribute called pause hint so pos underscore hint is equal to a dictionary in that center underscore x so this is uh, this will align our button in sen horizontally center uh, we are giving the value 0 0.5 and center underscore y this is uh, this will align our button vertically center so for that i'm giving 0 0.5 for both the values so it will be in the center of the screen so let's save this and check how it looks you can see uh, now our button is in the center so you can also reduce the size hint so let's keep it 0 0.2 for both the x and y now let's learn and see you can see our button size has been reduced so it is very helpful these attributes are very helpful in creating a button or um, if you want to create an app you can use this so i'm creating one more um, button called button one and button two let's uh, rename them so so we'll be having two buttons let's uh, run and see this you can see our one more button is not visible it is because the both buttons are in the same position we should change any one button's position so for that i am uh, giving this button to y value as 0.2 for now so after saving this if you run and see you can see our button is now visible our two buttons are now visible so now for now uh, we have created our button successfully let's see how to add functions to it so adding functions means uh, if you click on the button it will call a method so it is pretty easy for that i'm defining a function def on click so let it be on click <coughs> for now then this consists of self parameter let me say you self uh, why we have to give self parameter for it so here i am going to print button pressed so whenever we are clicking on it it will call the method on click and uh, this on click method will um, print button is pressed so it is a um, very simple concept so now we have to call this function when we are pressing this button for that before adding this widget uh, adding the button into a screen we should um, add a simple line of code self dot button dot bind this bind function binds uh, some more attributes to our button class so bind on press so this on press should be in non um, i mean uh, it should not be in uh, double quotes so is equal to uh, we are going to give so on click and we are calling this on click self dot on click self dot on click why we have to give self so let me explain it after this so if you run you can see if i press you are getting an error this is why because on click takes one argument that is self but two were given why two are given means if you press the button it will return value called object uh, which object it is it can return it so it will return it so for that we should assign uh, asterisk args or any of your choice i'm giving here instance and if i save this and run 
you can see this uh, will not give me an error so it is pretty easy pretty simple and uh, you can see that <coughs> why I gave self uh, self dot on click means uh, we can use this globally inside our class inside our class we can use this so for that I gave it so so that's it for today videos guys so let me meet you in an another video with a good concept better than this and if you find any mistakes with me in this video you can um, put them in uh, the comment box below so if you have any of a suggestions you can give me in the comment box below so thank you for watching bye guys bye